we here? They're like, Hello. Why isn't it live? <laughs> we are live from Debbie's house. This is Debbie from Debbie's Design Diary. On Hi, our, I'm on Debbie. Our, My name's Debbie. I have a YouTube channel. Go subscribe to it. I'm going to put the link in the description box. Um, well, we'll put it in the comments. <laughs> oh, I'm not even in the shot. You're not even in the shot. Zeb will put Debbie's Always Design Diary link in comments, and then we'll put it in the description box later if you're watching the replay. Debbie actually makes the DIY paint. And a lot of people that follow me, I know they follow Debbie too. And we're in our house, yes. and Zeb is sitting on, how many views do you have on that couch video? Let's do a million. It's my most, I think it's my most viewed video. Like 800,000, 700, something. Well, so this is the famous couch that has almost a million views. And I get asked all the time, can you paint furniture? Debbie did. Is it crunchy, Zeb? That's not crunchy at all. Let me see your butt. Is, is it scratch off on your butt? No. I, ha I haven't seen your butt. <laughs> Why? Show the, show the audience. <laughs> See, there's no paint. <laughs> you can put on a pair of white pants. <laughs> like the white pants test. <laughs> so you're probably I'll just wiggle test. around back here until it comes off. You're probably wondering what we're doing here. Um, we are at in California and we're working on Pinners Conference teaching. If you guys have followed me, you've seen it. And I bought this today. If you follow me on Instagram and my Insta stories, then you saw that I picked this today. I have a problem. I don't know if you guys have that problem. I go places and I, when he's like, you're not going to buy anything, are you? And I'm like, but this is so cute. And he had to load this on top of all of our projects in the back of the Suburban. It's so cute. There's not little casters on the back. Yeah, it rolls around. Like, yeah. Yeah, anything with casters. Well, and it's got dovetailed. It's probably like 20s construction, but Zeb knew that there was no arguing with me. And the lady, by the time she finally asked if we needed help, I'm like, he's already out loading it in the car. We're good. <laughs> so anyway, so this is a really cute little like cabinet I would call it, but it's about nightstand size. And I thought since we're in California, it'd be fun to do like a beachy finish. So the first thing we're yes. gonna do, Debbie's Debbie and I are gonna paint together. She's using old 57. Right here, old 57. And there's just like the tiniest little bit left. Yep. Can you see it? Look, there's just like a little inch of it left. Like this about this much right here. Oh, and there's comments. People are saying. Yep, I'm watching time. them. What are they saying? So, <laughs> April <laughs> Lily, uh, or a uh, purple Lily, sorry, um, wants to know, is this the paint that is good in sand? Yes. <laughs> yes. Debbie yes. can tell you all about it. It's yeah, all natural. There, here, let me read the ingredients. First, candy, candy, read. <laughs> I, I have a, oh, wait, wait, wait. Look at this. I just bought this. Hold on, she's gonna show you how she reads the ingredients. Check it out. Sweet. It's a paintbrush magnifying oh, glass. Oh, no more of this. Yes. <laughs> so I have this magnifying glass right here that looks like a paintbrush. How cool is that? For people who are older, they can read. It says, first ingredient is love, water, clay, porcelain clay, chalk, alcohol ester as a binder, cellulose, pigments, and preservatives. Like Nine a binder, ingredients. like a notebook? Yeah, just kind of like keeps it all together. It keeps it from spreading around. Sweet. Sort of. But so. yes, it is very safe. And we like to use it because if you guys follow us, you know that Jack likes to paint with us and he gets all his fingers in it. And I usually have paint all over my hands and so sometimes when I'm making dinner, Oh yeah. It happens. A little, a little flavoring. A little bit of love and a lot of paint and all the paint I make. So Debbie's gonna mix this up. She's gonna do two parts of vintage linen to one part old 57. The cool thing about DIY paint is it's heavily pigmented and the colors are really bright. And I get asked all the time like how I create my softer, more farmhouse finishes. And all I do is manipulate the paint and I mix it. And when you only have a little bit left, that's like the perfect time to soften up a color. And you never want to waste DIY paint because you can always do something. Do you ever get down to the bottom and then make like a color wash out of it? Like out of water and shake it around? Yes, and you know what? I heard a story about a woman who was trying to finish a piece and she had like this much left to paint and she ran out of paint completely. So she took the hard pieces that form around the edge, she put them in her blender, <laughs> made it back into powder and added water and was able to finish her piece. Nice. She reconstituted like, it. I want to try that. That is awesome. Hey, that's going the extra mile. You're getting all your money out of that paint <laughs> no, can. Totally. All right, I'm going to use Queen Bee because Debbie told me it's amazing, and I have never used Queen Bee. I sell it all the time. Queen Bee is such a good color. It's kind of like, um, well, I won't tell you what it's kind of like. I've had five kids, but <laughs> it's going to dry a different it color. It is not. <laughs> like mustard. Okay, Jamie, is this the color you want right here? Yes, that's it's really like pretty, very kind of beachy. Mint. So you can paint the top part of this, and I'm going to do the bottom part in this yellow. So the, the 
top half like this or up here? Up here. Okay, we're going to do that. Lots of people saying hi, hello to everyone. This There's too it. many for me to shout you all out. There's a bunch I'm behind. This Sorry. is Debbie's first time going live on YouTube. Yeah. And she has how many subs now? That's a <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, We're trying not to get paint everywhere. I, I told Debbie, I said, are you sure you want me to paint your house? I'm a paint flinger. Apparently I'm not the only one. <laughs> the good thing is the DIY paint washes off great. Yes. And I always get asked, hey, do you guys want to see my shirt? I got this at Debbie's shop today. It's so cute. Doesn't it's got pom-poms on it. She has, more in her, she has more in her shop, so I bet, you know, if you're local, you can come get one. Or do you guys ship? Um, no. No. <laughs> okay, we have to come to California yeah. if you want this. Peggy Lee, yes, we are about 11 hours away from home. We are in California right now. We're teaching at the Pinners Conference, and we hit up Debbie because she's close, and we're in her house painting a piece of furniture that Jamie picked at a thrift store today. So what was the drive like from Lehigh to It was San snowing Diego. when we left and then rain and then just a long, I mean, it's a long ways through the desert to get here once you hit Vegas. It was like heaven because we had, were there with no children. <laughs> we talked about the meaning of life. Do you guys play games in the car? Or? Um, mostly we talk about all Sports. the things we plan on doing. I asked Zeb if we should have any more children. <laughs> Zeb told me no. Jack is the baby. If you guys have watched us, you know we have five kids. And so the people always want to know if you're going to have any more. And they're like, Joanna's having a baby. Well, guess what? Joanna and Chip are having their fifth. So when they have their sixth, then we'll think about it. No, still not there. <laughs> I'm, I'm in no competition with anyone. That's right. <laughs> we had just the right amount. Every time we've had a child, we've just felt like there was another kid waiting to come to be in our family. And then we always only have one name picked out for one gender, and it's always that gender. Five out of five. So they're just like predestined. Yeah. I don't, I'm, I, I'm not really good at that kind of stuff, but apparently we always know what we're going to have. Do you want me to paint these edges? Sure. Go ahead. Crystal Clay, we still have two room transformations and another half room that we only kind of did before we even run out of kids. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot. Well, and then the, the office, is that what time the half transformation? No, we kind of okay. did the little boys' room a little while back. So I have this idea that I was talking to Jamie about in the car that Zeb doesn't know about yet, but I just wanted to run it by you guys since, you know, I'm on their channel right now and, and what better time to bring it up, right? I don't even remember what it is. <laughs> so good. It'd be like the first time I'm hearing it again. I was, Jamie, so Zeb does all the editing. And I don't, I, I'm always telling her that I need a Zeb because I, I have trouble putting out content on a regular basis. Like, usually I get a video out every two weeks if I'm lucky or once a month. And Jamie was saying how awesome Zeb is because he does all the editing. And, you know, she, she's in front of the camera and she decides what they're going to paint or whatnot. But I think that Zeb and Jamie should trade places for a week. So Jamie can get a good idea of what goes into the editing because I feel like from I've I've made over a hundred videos and so editing gives you like a different perspective as far as storytelling and what's good to capture on camera and I think it would be good for them to swap places and for you guys to see like if there's any difference. Nobody in the would watch those videos. videos. Be like, what? She's is this? not smiling at all. She's giving me a dirty look right now. And Zeb, how do you feel? About Jamie doesn't get along with electronics very well to start with, so when they don't do exactly what she wants, she hits them. <laughs> True. But I just think, like, as an experiment, you know, like, well, what if we swap? just did for one day? For one video, yeah. One video, I can't do a whole week because nobody would survive. My, my children will call you and be like, Debbie, why did you do this to my mother? So in case you guys are wondering what I'm doing, is I'm just taking it, without it even being dry, I'm just taking and layering back on the vintage linen and the paints really blend well together because they're all clay based and they like to play together and I'm just softening it up. I'm trying to make it look kind of like a beach. So we've got the ocean here and you've got the sandy and then the white is kind of the... So would um, you guys want to see that like with... with moving um, back Jamie, to the paint! Moving back to the paint! <laughs> Job, um, where she's kind of more behind the scenes doing the editing and running the camera and Zeb's the one saying, okay, this is what we're going to paint today and these are the colors we're going to use. Would you guys, let, let us know in the comments if that sounds interesting. I think it would be really interesting. 
I'm in. <laughs> and so, all the children have to come to you for all their needs, and you have to say yes instead of no. I'm the, I'm the yes woman, and he's the no man. Like, uh, if, if they ask him, it could be like, can I get a drink of water? No. So they always come to me, so you have to say yes. Well, tomorrow, guess. we can't do that tomorrow. No. We're, we got to teach at Pinner's Conference tomorrow still, so we're going to be a little, we know we were, we're a little light on videos this week. We haven't gotten our five well, We're going to have to go live again tomorrow. I don't know what we're going to do. We're, we'll, we'll, we'll see what we end up doing, because we not only are we here 11 hours away from home, but we're also kind of, it's like a workcation. We're, we're still having to teach at Pinner's Conference. Yeah, so, so stop PMing me, because I want to go to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. You can PM me. I will still talk to you. Should this I is kind of cool. Yeah. Well, everybody's saying they want to see how you edit a video. All right. You know what's going to happen, though, is... We're going to go live on your channel, <laughs> Debbie. All right. Let's, let's... <laughs> no, she'll call you out on something you don't want to do. <laughs> we're going to go live. No, so Debbie doesn't like that. to go live, so we're going to go live. I've never gone live. On She's her. never gone live on her channel, and she has like 150. How many thousand viewers do you have now? 151. So if we go live on my channel tomorrow, will you guys go over there and look for it? Yeah, yeah. if we go live on Debbie's DIY page, will you, we'll put it in our community. We'll put the link in there, too. We need you to subscribe to her page, too. Nice. So it's cool because Debbie and I are not just, like, YouTube friends. We're friends in real life. Yeah. I actually really like her. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I'm crazy Everybody and says, yes, that's a good idea. A lot of these people that are watching are already subscribed to you. Oh, yay. Well, I talk about you a little we, bit. We've had several comments. Love seeing my three favorite DIYers together. Aww. <laughs> well, we love talking to you. If you're interested in buying any of this paint, go to jamierayvintage.com. Just think. That's right. A little shameless plug there. Oh, and I'm using my paint pixie brush. Well, Debbie's. It's one of Debbie's paint brush. pixie brush. It's Debbie's paint pixie brush. Debbie, you don't take good care of your brushes. No, I don't. It's you. such a good brush that it holds up well. Even this I is her paintbrush it. selection. She said, what can you use? And I'm like, I think but I'll see, take this one. I think it's really pretty when you have all the chippy layers built up on the handle. It, yeah, like, it it's make really good in the photos when you're like staging a can of paint and you want to like take the, the can and then you lay the brush next to it like in the blurred out background and you have all this, don't you think? Like, you can, it's like, it tells a story of what you painted. It's like the chippiness we're looking for in all yeah. the pieces. Well, when yeah. I first started using paint, like painting furniture, I had the same paintbrush for how long? Oh, it's a long time. I have pictures of the brush. Like it's, a year. The it's paint got was so built much... up that thick. Yeah. Did you see my paintbrush chandelier? Yes. Store? It was Those awesome. Are all brushes that... Did I you... wanted to show people your store, but Debbie said no, but I will eventually. <laughs> Debbie <laughs> promises that she will do a live tour of her store as soon as she gets it put together. The, the store is kind of in transition. Transition. Yes. Although, I'm such a fangirl. I was like, <gasps> and this is the crown that Debbie made, and this is this that Debbie painted. <laughs> It's like going on to a movie set, isn't it? That's what people say sometimes when they come to my house. It's like a movie set. I'm like, I'm pretty yeah. sure people probably clean movie sets. This house is not clean. I'm going to borrow some of your paint. Is that okay? Yeah. This looks really good. I like this color. I'm, I'm getting it in the reverse view on the, uh, on the live feed here. It's looking pretty good. Yeah. It's kind of, oh, that would be your nice paint on your shoe. What? How did that happen? I don't know, but i got to be careful because Debbie's couch is back there and I think she'll beat me. We'll really know if the color stays on then. <laughs> so Debbie, when you did your couch, did you heat set it or did you just wait for it to dry? Or you patinaed it, right? You want to know the truth? Yes. This is the truth. All right, Debbie. Here's the truth. <laughs> What's the truth about the couch, Debbie? The truth is, is that DIY paint, like after three months, will cure to a rock hard finish because it's clay based. So it's like Adobe when it finally does dry, but it takes a long time to dry. So you have this really open window and you can just wet distress it and do the Dion and do all these amazing things. But that couch took me two weeks to paint. And so by the time I was done, I'm like, I don't want, basically it would have taken another week to two weeks to put the liquid patina and the watered down format on there. So I just, I, I never wear white pants. I don't sit on it in my bathing suit. And I knew that by the time, and I'm one girl living at, you know, at home alone. I don't have kids. So I'm like, I ain't gonna do that. I'm just gonna let it be and then just let it cure. Yeah, and now it's cured and I you know, I've never had an issue with the paint coming off and I, I have put on white pants and and just like shimmied around yeah, and it's, it's fine. 
It's not coming off on my khaki pants. Yeah. So you You're either have to use water down liquid patina, or you have to wait three months. Or you could or heat try setting. heat setting it like the cushion zip off. So I could have put those in the dryer. I could hit or it with an iron, iron dryer or an iron. iron. Yeah. Zeb knows that I'm crafting when I bring out the iron because I don't iron anything. But if I, I do use it for crafting. Yeah. I love the way this is blending together. Good yeah, thing that my really leggings are only five dollars from Walmart, but I'm gonna be sad if I get paint on this shirt. It'll rinse out. Yeah, it does pretty good. So savvy and chic, the paint brushes you can get them there. The paint pixie brushes, and you can get them at JamieRayVintage.com. Yeah. I'll put the, links when we're done. I'll put best, links in. Well, the best thing about these paint pixie brushes is the way they blend the paint. And they're made in Italy. Like, they're good quality. You yeah. Can really well, you know anything from Europe has to be fancy. I wonder if people from Europe are like, that's made in America, so it's good. <laughs> or not. If you're from Europe, do you like stuff made in America? Is it fancy? Because I'm telling you, when you live in America, if something is made in Europe, it automatically doubles the price. It makes it better. Oh, yeah. It makes sense. Even yeah. better if it's made like in France. So, yes. so France. she. <laughs> All right, a couple questions. Pam Clayton wants to know where you guys, where, how you met. And then also, um, Sherry, I'm going to mess up your last name. Sherry Wonk, I'm guessing, um, says that Debbie should charge people to sit on the couch. <laughs> I should pay people to sit on the couch and write a testimony. Show them your bum. You can take this part of the video, we'll send us a clip of Zeb's bum, and you can put it on your on your channel and be like, look! Yeah. If Zeb's bum tested approved there. Can you tell I have kids I'm calling it a bum? Sorry. No, it's totally <laughs> fine. Um, I met Jamie because I was subscribed to her YouTube channel, and one morning I was watching one of her videos, and she, it was a video about... I think it was just like a Q&A video in general about um, questions she gets asked a lot and she was talking about how she stages her furniture and I was just watching her and I was super impressed with her and I was looking for someone to teach at my boot camp and I'm like that is my teacher right there I need to call that girl so I sent her a Facebook message and asked if she would Give Debbie me. called me and I sweat through my I'm shirt. Like, I was will you so give excited. me like some some of your time, you know, on the phone? And so we set up a time to talk, and I basically like pitched her boot camp and DIY and why she should like give me a chance and try my paint and be part of my team. And she came to boot camp, and I fell in love with her and Zeb too. And that's so basically that's like that's your version. I stalked you. <laughs> <laughs> I stalked you first <laughs> because this is the, this is my version of the story. Um, I wanted to, well, Zeb wanted to have a YouTube channel, and so I started searching for YouTube videos, like good furniture painting tutorials, and there was like nothing except for there was Debbie, and she had these videos, and I was like, I would watch these videos even if I didn't paint furniture because she's so fun, and I remember, do you remember Zeb when I showed you? I was like, Zeb, you have to watch these videos, and he got tired because you already had quite a few videos at that point, and I made him like a marathon, and I binge watched them, and he's like, can we watch something else? I'm like, no, I have to watch every single one of these videos. And so then I became a fangirl, and then I sent you a Facebook friend request, and I was like, she, and like months before you ever accepted it. And then I guess you accepted my friend request, and then so I started commenting on your stuff. So subconsciously, I kind of came into your mind before you even knew it. Uh, like when you would post personal stuff, I'd like post on there like I knew you. But I oh but yeah, because I remember I remember getting a comment from you saying, "Oh yeah, we just we just filmed the video tonight." Like I was talking about a video, and you said that you were filming too, and I'm like, "Who's filming what?" <laughs> yeah. So then I went so and I found your YouTube channel, and I'm like, "Oh, this is good." And then I subscribed. And, and yeah, so I you think like, you found me, but I found you. You tricked me. <laughs> I tricked you. So this stalker. is the uh, and now you want to build your social media and connect with people. That's how you do it. You There's stalk them and hope that one day they'll accept your friend request. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're, that's unsolicited advice. <laughs> so I'm going to bring you in close here while they're telling their stories, this is so that really you can pretty. see it. Sorry for the shadow. Debbie asked me how we were going to paint this, and I'm like, I don't know. The lighting isn't the best in here, but we'll be sure when we're all finished. I'll take a good picture of it and put it on the community so you can see all the fun layers. Well, Debbie's got this cool halo light that I think we might need to invest in. I, I like our lights, but ours are huge. Oh, I have those big lights, but this is the easy way. No, I like I like this. This Zeb's is a good light. I have those big umbrella lights, but the, this is just the easiest way. 
just like you know. Zeb's big lights like take up our whole office, and I always trip over them, and then I'm like, Zeb, if you don't move these lights, they're gonna break. And then you're gonna tell me you're so bad on electronics, so you have to break, or you have to move that, or else I'm gonna break it. So he's getting a little better about it. Do you know Zeb leaves our camera all over the house? All over the house. We have five kids, right? one of which is Jack, who's three, and he takes our seven hundred dollar filming camera and just sits it on the counter with an open can of DIY paint and I'm like, oh, this could be bad. I, when I did this training at the YouTube Center where they, like, they select people to go up to the YouTube space for a week and you take classes all week long and there's like a, like a real film director there and a sound guy and they teach you how to make professional videos. So this, this director who makes Hollywood films, he's teaching us, and we're supposed to get our cameras out of our bag, and I get my camera out, and it's covered in paint, and there's no lens cap, and he likes, he's like, Debbie, you are so disrespectful to your equipment. What are you doing? He goes, this is, you know, this is a $300 lens, and there's paint on it, and where are your lens caps? I'm like, I, I ordered three lens caps, and I just, finally I gave up on ordering them, because they literally disappear like the day after I put them on the camera. And there's so much paint. On we, them. our last camera, fell into the table oh, saw like and I took the lens <laughs> apart and made it work again. It was covered in sawdust. I think they just don't understand what we're going through trying to make no, these videos. They don't. <laughs> I hate this. What happened? There's a piece of tape on here. Don't you ever, don't you hate it? Don't ever put scotch tape on furniture. I, because when you use this kind of paint, you don't really think about, you know, you don't sand it. So then you don't realize it until you start painting it, and there's a piece of scotch tape on there. You just gotta get it off. Then. I know. Well, I'm getting it off, but I just think it's funny. It's so aggravating to me. Like, who put scotch tape on their furniture? So, guys, if you can't find you her channel, what? we will put the description. I'll put the direct that. link to her channel in the description of this video, but it'll probably take me a couple of hours look to up, get that up. So. Look up Debbie's design diary. Put it in comments, so. Yeah, I have a new video that I just posted like three days ago. Yeah, it's cool. It's a paint. And I'm going to start doing a few videos of trying to recreate Debbie's stuff because I think it would be fun. Hold on. I'll be right back so on comments. So you guys need the paint chair, the pouring? I, well, I want, Deb's been wanting to paint pour for a long time. So you kind of cracked the code for us. All right. So I'm going to kind of try to make this chicky with the... I'm going to like do a little edging with this. Yeah, that, that looks great. I love all the furniture at your store. It's so fun. really good color combination. I never would have thought of this. Because your right. stuff is all very bright and my stuff's all very white, so we mix the but two. But I like, mix like the depth of the green bee be. under the white. Like you still get that nice sharp depth, but it's not so yeah, it kind of queen bee in your face. All queen bee in your face. How, yeah. What exactly is queen bee in your face? Okay, queen bee is the color I named after myself because Deborah means busy bee, industrious one. So. I named that color. See all this fun info you were and getting? Sandy Blonde was named after my mom. She picked that color and she had Sandy Blonde. I've never used Sandy Blonde before. It's good. I'm surprised. It's a very neutral. I don't do taupe. Is it kind it's, of taupey? It's kind of Sandy Blondy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to try it out. Well, I wanted to do Queen Bee because I've never used Queen Bee. I, I sell it. It's, it's so good. beautiful. And I sell Queen Bee. I mean, I sell it all the time. People buy it and Queen I never have used it. Well, no wonder, look how cool this is. So I'm using, if you guys are wondering, this is a squeegee. What is this Here, come from? close. It's from Mod Podge. This is a Mod Podge squeegee, and I'm just using it to give it like a layered, chippy, textured effect, the chippy effect. And I'm just, it kind of blends the paint, but also scrapes it off too. And there's like leftover paint on here that's actually getting on here. Are we gonna power wash it? We're gonna power wash it. And we can if we want to. Where's your squirt bottle? You got one? She was ready. Yeah, when Debbie first tried to do the Dion, she was so mad. Were you there? Yes, I was in that class and then <laughs> I, had, I could when I was when I was watching you, I was like, you can't do that. That paint is glossy. I didn't say I, anything because I didn't know you. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god. And my people were coming up to me going, it looks really good. Debbie. No, it looked bad. And I was like, don't tell me it looks good when it doesn't look good just because you, you know, don't. Don't even. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to, you know, it's funny. It's reactivating the paint on the squeegee. So then I'm getting, this is boho blue here and we haven't even used it. Oh, 
Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So sometimes painting is just about having fun. I think Deb, Deb kept asking me, what are we going to do? And Debbie's like, what are we going to do? And I'm like, I don't know. We're just going to paint these colors, and we're going to mix it together and see what happens. Because the worst case scenario, you just paint over it. Like, you just paint, right? It doesn't have to be perfect. No. So I'm going to plug myself here real quick. So oh, yes. Monday we are doing, well, that's bright. Monday we're doing a video. Hang on. Let me adjust the lighting. Uh, I made these corbels for Debbie for a shelf for a window she's got. This one right here back behind the couch. And we're going to put a shelf up and she's going to paint them all cool. And uh, this is the design. We may have these on the website. We'll call them the Debbies, I imagine. <laughs> the Debbies. We always have that. Awesome, I'm so excited. I, I'm so excited. I saw this image on Pinterest of corbels above a window, and, and uh, I asked Deb if he could make me some corbels. Deb, so I keep putting white on, and Debbie keeps adding <laughs> more color. No, don't go over my color. It looks nice. Just Are you going to wet distress it afterwards? No, I don't know. Oh, that looks good. There okay. you go. Yeah. I brought some of the. Are you Deb, show them what happens when I squeegee. All right, hang on. Let me All bring the them close. Wait, together. wait, so I can bring them close. Hang them. You gotta have that bright under there so you can yeah. uncover it, and then you have a little bit of. Then you put right. the white over the top. So let me do. I'll do it right here. We'll just put the white on here, and even if you don't necessarily squirt it, if you just um, if you just put paint on there, kind of. <laughs> white. I'm putting white. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, and then you have Debbie, and she adds some <laughs> yellow. Look how here. pretty that looks. Like okay, so saying. I'm just taking this and I'm scraping and it across. And it wouldn't and be blend. the same without that nice bright pop of That's yellow right. right there. So oh, wow. then instead of distressing it afterwards, the squeegee Aren't is just... Are you glad I did that now, Jimmy? I'm, so, I'm glad about everything here. you do, Debbie. Now, let's just add a little bit oh, more then. It's like the war of the colors here. Like, are we going to have white? Are we going to have yellow? So I don't know a while back if you saw, it, it's been a while, we did a live video on a piece that I was working on and I'm pretty sure that every old piece of furniture that I've ever sanded down or worked on or trimmed out of an old house, it always has like yellow, some kind of minty green or blue. Like, you know what it reminds me of? Oh sorry Zeb, keep talking. Oh no that's fine. <laughs> And it's got red colors all and, and whites. You get you always get all of these colors. Our channel is totally used to it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but you always get all these fun colors coming through, and they just they're doing it right now with the yellow and the whites and the blues. It reminds me of like summertime with like ice cream, with lemon ice cream and mint chip, and it's like summer pastel melted ice cream finish. Well, and we're using so many different, like we're using three colors and look at all the different shades that are in here. Like you don't have to buy every color in the rainbow to get every color. And Jamie, what do you think of that rubber squeegee thing? I'm going to buy like a 10 pack. Do they sell them on Amazon? Yes, they do. Oh. I have an affiliate link. Oh, so do I. <laughs> so. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey. No. You we're going to put the affiliate link. Apparently it's going to be Jamie's affiliate link and not mine because it's her channel. Well, when we do a live video with, on your channel, we can use well, your link. Well, your affiliate link on your channel. <laughs> well, uh, they, we did a live video a while back with Eliza's room and we did a bed and people must have bought the bed, the link that we did, because the people are sending me more stuff. Awesome. They're sending me an office chair and a few other different They're things. Like, yes. Yes, stuff is selling. So. Thank you guys for. Oh, for so time. Pam noticed you have new glasses on, Jamie. Yeah, she broke her glasses the other day putting the boys to bed. She stepped on them getting out of the bed. In a fit of rage. Look, they're kind of big. Whoops. And guys, I'm sorry. I did my. I haven't showered today. Disclaimer. And I did my makeup early this morning, and then we were gone all day and looking at property because we really want to move to oh, California. Yeah, that's something else fun we did. We went. We went out to Fallbrook. We're looking out there. Because way back don't when this all started. Don't tell them when the people are going to know how awesome it is we have our property on. I want it to get think, expensive. I don't think thousands of people are going to move out there because they saw our video. But, um, so anyway, way back when we were like, hey, we're going to do five videos a week. Um, and we committed to doing that. We, uh, 
the whole goal was to grow our channel so that we could be able to afford like a house or a piece of property that we could put a shop on and just DIY that whole house and, and doing that. And so we were actually, we want to relocate here where it's a little warmer, better for Jamie's arthritis. And so we went, we found this little town because we've got a friend that lives out there and we went there today for the first time and I've been researching it to death online, but we actually went out there and it's, it's amazing. We really loved it. So there's a good chance here in the, I don't know, we're probably still a year out when we're going to, we're going to wait to move until our son graduates from high school, which is yeah. still two you years You know, away. Harrington, who was always popping on here when he's supposed to be in school. Yeah, that kid. <laughs> But it's, we're looking, so that's some, a fun development. We haven't, this is the first time we've actually been like serious about looking at a particular place that we thought we might like to land. Awesome. So what I was saying before Zem interrupted me. Did I interrupt oh, you? Let the, let the record <laughs> show. How do you interrupt Zem? Let the record show that he interrupted me. Just kidding. Um, it I goes both ways. No, this is how I watch your videos. I watch and I'm like, Jamie, let Zem talk. Let him talk. Let Give him, him a talk. chance. He was saying something. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. back to what I was saying. <laughs> I did shower today, and I had to teach a class, and I am sweaty, and my hair is a hot mess. So I apologize, but I did get cute new glasses. So and a new shirt. Very cute. They look really cute on you. I like shirts like this because my best feature is my skinny legs. And then I got this big shirt so it covers my mom tummy. You can't see all the leftovers from the five kids. So I look like I might be skinny, but I'm not. No, you, you look a lot, she looks a lot thinner in real life than she does on camera. It's because I have fat cheeks. So I look a lot bigger than I am. That's okay because they're cute, right? She's petite. That squeegee's pretty there. awesome. I would not go that far as to say I'm petite. <laughs> you're like... Yeah, I would say you're... Well, if I'm next to Zeb, I look really petite because he's so much bigger than I am. There you go. So, there's a little tip. You want to look smaller? Marry somebody who's giant. Oh, he's not giant. Well, he's I am putting a dent he's in burly. I am putting a dent in his couch. <laughs> yeah, he's burly. Well, when we were dating in high school, I weighed like 105 pounds and he weighed like 205 pounds. So, it was pretty funny. That now is we're, true. Now, we're kind of meeting in the middle. I tried to gain a lot of weight, but you tried hasn't to make always, it better. hasn't always worked out. <laughs> well, Zeb's trying to watch his calories now, and I'm just like, oh, let's have pie and a pecan. I'm horrible. I can't. I'm not a good dieter. I'm a bad influence to all people when it comes to food. Because I love food. I also Maybe. love paint. She loves bacon. She does I love do her love bacon. <laughs> the house smells like bacon at least three or four times a week. <laughs> One of my followers, I can't remember her name because I'm sleep deprived right now. She's so cute. She's going to send me her recipe to get smells out so my house won't smell like bacon anymore. And when she does, I'll share the link. Why can I not remember her name? I can picture her. She has beautiful dark hair. And she sells essential oils, and my brain is fluffy right now. It's probably some kind of essential oil with a diffuser or something. Yeah, like she, but she makes... And I cook salmon. This place is so small, I'm always worried that my house smells like fish. And so I, I light the uh, anthropology candles and burn the essential oils. Well, if oils. this works, I'll, I'll get you some of this blend. I know. <laughs> the anti steam you smell fish in here? No? Yes, we are at Debbie's house. <laughs> We're in California. So what else is there? And this is the painted couch. New people are coming on. Um, <laughs> yep, that's Debbie's couch. It's been painted. They say you need to switch sides because she's been working on this side blending and you've been working on that side blending. Yeah, I bet you this side is a lot more different. It does look a lot different in the, in the picture. <laughs> okay. All right. All right switch. So Girl Up Cycles, we're teaching at Pinner's Conference here. Oh, that's in... Kelly Weiler. Kelly Weiler. Kelly. <laughs> she's a DIY retailer. Switch. Don't paint over my yellow, Jamie. Let it live. Oh, I like your side better. <laughs> but it needs some white. It needs a little bit of vintage linen here. <laughs> oh God. Well, it's just a just little bit. bit just a little bit of white. Jamie, it's nothing but white over here. There's no color at all. What are you doing? Because it's so calming. Don't you feel more peaceful while you're over there? You will like feels clinical. <laughs> yeah. I get asked a lot about how I do a white couch with five kids. How do you? Clorox bleach cleaner. I just spray it on there. Mm -hmm. We've had Kool-Aid and cake on there. Right now, I, did, I didn't clean it before I left because I knew they would abuse it while I was gone. But. Yeah, we don't. 
we don't try to clean the house too hard before we leave town. Let's be honest, I only clean the parts of the house that I filmed. So who's watching your kids while you're gone? We have a nanny. Her name's Megan. She's amazing. I've known her since she was 14. And she comes when we're out of town and watches our kids. And everybody but Harrington. Harrington is the only one that doesn't necessarily like when she comes and only because she's strict and doesn't want to do what he wants. You need a strict man. Yeah. I told you, Zeb says I'm a soft touch. She is. They only have to ask her four or five times and she caves. Because I'm busy and then they just bite me and I just, I hate to say no. And then they, they're sad little faces. They're so cute. When Jack looks at you with those like big brown eyes and says, Mom, can I please, can I please help just one more cookie? Just one cookie, Mom. And I can't, I can't say no. Probably why he's also a little chubby. <laughs> I have a funny story about a babysitter that I had when I was little. <laughs> mom and dad would never, they would hardly ever leave us. And when they did, like my mom had major guilt, I don't know why. Like they'd just go out for a movie or something or some church function and they'd get a babysitter once in a blue moon. And so when my mom would leave us with a babysitter, she'd go, like we had no sugar in our house at all. No treats, everything like apples were our biggest treat. And so she'd, she'd say, Debbie, okay, you're gonna have a babysitter tonight, but She's gonna pop popcorn for you. I bought these games. She's gonna play games with you. And then she found these like all natural candy bars that were made out of carob and honey. And that was a big deal because we just didn't have any sugar. With carob? Yeah. And so she's like, and look, there's these chocolate bars for you and you're gonna have a good best night, so don't worry. And I'm thinking, yeah, babysitter, okay. So the babysitter comes and I'm thinking, Right, we can have the popcorn. Where's the, you know, let's eat the chocolate. And she gets on the phone with her boyfriend. And this is way back in the day. There's no cell phone. So she's like got the, the old school phone and the, the cord. cords wrapped around to the other room. <laughs> and I'm like, when are you getting off the phone? When do we get to play the games? And then she stayed on the phone all night with her boyfriend. And then she gets off and she's like, it's your bedtime. You got to go. I'm like, but we didn't get to eat the popcorn. We didn't get to eat the chocolate. And she's like, it's too late. We'll just have to do that later. <laughs> and so then the next morning, I'm like, Mom, we didn't get our chocolate bars. And she's like, well, they're gone. So the babysitter ate them. Oh, man. So she, she comes back again. They go somewhere, and she gets the same babysitter. And my mom goes through the whole thing, you know, oh, don't worry. Okay, we've got the chocolate. And so she shows up, and again, she gets on the phone with her boyfriend, and I'm mad. And so I, <laughs> I take my sister aside. We go down the hallway, and I'm like, my parents, they're paying her to watch us, and all she's doing is talking to her boyfriend on the phone. So I made my sister sneak in the kitchen and get a bottle of ketchup and a sharp knife, and I laid on, <laughs> in the hallway with ketchup on my neck, and like I bury my face into the shag carpeting so I don't laugh. <laughs> and I'm like, Danielle, when I found a tree, scream bloody murder. And so my sister screams, ah! And the babysitter comes running in and she thinks that I cut myself and I like start cracking up and I'm like, you should have been watching us and this is what could have happened and my parents are paying you to watch us and this is proof that you're not doing your job. And she says, I'm going to tell your parents. And I said, no, you're not. And I said, you know why? Because then they will know that you weren't doing your job. <laughs> and she never told. <laughs> like I waited. I was so scared that she was going to tell my parents what we did. So I waited up all night and I heard them come through the door. My mom and dad, how were they? Oh, they were great. <laughs> oh my goodness. When you pass through that rainbow bridge, your mother is going to have some words for you. No, that she, one. She knows. She, she knows. You, you gave pain on that when How old were you when you fessed up? Like a decade later. She's oh, like, man. Oh my God, no wonder that babysitter never came down. <laughs> Yeah, you know, smarted her. Well, so when I was in high school, my friend borrowed my car and she wrecked it. And she was living with us at the time because her parents had been abusive. And um, when she wrecked it, I said, oh no, I, I feel horrible. You don't have anywhere to live. I don't want, it wasn't bad. It was just dented. And I was like, I'll say I did it because my parents are so nice. They won't care. And so I told my parents that I did it. And they said, How, what happened? And I I had to come up with a story. So I said, there was a drunk driver, and he came, and he made me swerve off the road. And I dented the fender. And my mom was like, OK, well, I'm glad you're all right. And then 10 later, years later, I'm like, it wasn't me. It was my friend. Oh, my God. <laughs> but that's how great my parents were. Like, 
I knew that they wouldn't be mad you at me. You lied. And what a good friend you were for taking the... I was a good friend for lying to my parents. <laughs> <laughs> for taking the... Well, it's not like I took any heat because my parents weren't mad at me. Like, I knew that they would be okay. Your I'd parents be are still pretty chill. Yeah, my parents are pretty chill. I get chill. along well with my in-laws. It's probably pretty good that I was, like, a fairly decent teenager because they were pretty free and loose with me. And I think your parents have a lot of... Do you, have, do you come from a big family, too? Do they have a lot of kids? Me? So I have three sisters, but my sister closest in age to me is 15 years older than me, and my oldest sister is 24 years old than me. Whoa. So my parents were um, my parents were grandparents when I was born. So I think that's why they were so chill. They're like, we've been oh, here. Oh, we've done not. this. Yeah, this is no big deal. Like I'm not. Gonna, I'm gonna pose it down a little bit, just like right here. So it's looking a little more even in the video here. I'm watching. Oh, good. I'm, I'm loving it. I yeah, think it's I a think beautiful. It's you guys are getting this whole process down, right? As they've I been combining like their efforts. Well, look how, like, that's the thing I love about DIY paint. Because it's got such great texture. Look at this right here. That looks like literally it's been worn over time. All right. Yeah. I'm going to bring them in close so they can okay, see it. Show them all the goodness. I think it's good. I do, too. I think if we keep going, we'll So we use Queen that. Bee Vintage Linen and Old 57 Cut 50-50 with Oh, um, Old 57 was two parts. Vintage linen and one part of oh, linen. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, so the mixture is Queen Bee vintage linen, and then we used Old 57, and we did one part Old 57 to two parts vintage linen. So we used three colors, but we have like 40 colors on here now because they've kind of blended them. And the key is to not go over the Queen Bee too much with the white so that you have those little pops of color coming through, right, Jamie? No, the key is to keep <laughs> adding white until it's neutral and comforting and calming. <laughs> I think my favorite part is what that squeegee did with all the colors yeah. together, though. It kind of yeah. blended them for us. And I won't have to... And, like, how the white almost has a pickling effect over, like, yeah. where it's barely there. Yeah, it looks... Well, it looks like the inside of the doors. We'll have to show it to them. Well, maybe we can. Hold on. Let's see. Can you open it? Do you ever sometimes open drawers after you've done, like, the squirt bottle, and they're, like, they're, like a pool of water <laughs> inside yeah. them? Oh, yeah. So look at the inside. Debbie was saying that she loved the inside, but look... Debbie, isn't that funny? Look. Look at the inside of this. Don't you think that the inside goes with what we did on the outside? Like it's oh. all yellow in here, yeah. and then it's got that beached it was wood meant, effect. Pickled. It was meant to be. It goes mm. together perfect, and it has these cute little white knobs. If you guys watched the beginning of the video, or the uh, thumbnail. The knobs were already off. The thumbnail shows the white knobs. We'll put them on there later. We'll stick it in community. And so when it's all dry, I will take and I will sand. I get asked this a lot. I don't know if you guys, if you do this on your pieces, I pull out the drawer. And I sand all the edges smooth so that way it's not like chunky or layery and so it opens good. And then I usually will sand the edges of my cabinet drawers just so that way everything's nice and smooth and doesn't look chunky. And I'm definitely going to wax this because I think it will make it really pretty. Yeah. So if you guys want to use the paint that we used today, go to jamierayvintage.com. And you're going to need White Swan, Queen Bee, and Old 57. Vintage linen. Or not White Swan. I use White Swan too much. Vintage linen, Old 57, Queen Bee. And you're not going to, for a piece this size, you're definitely not going to need more than the sample size. And you'll have enough paint to do more projects. Because a little bit goes a long way. Oh, yeah. We probably used like a third of a container. Like if you combined all the paint we used. We might have used six ounces of paint, maybe. Probably four, four ounces to four. paint this whole thing. So it really goes a really great long way. And the best thing about doing this is you get the white, but if there's some bleed through, it just adds to the charm, which if you, you don't paint a lot of white, so you don't understand the struggle that is the bleed through. I've had the bleed through happen to me one time. One time. And how and was that? I cried and I just, I refused to stop and put the shellac on it to fix it. So you kept trying so to... So I just kept, I kept adding more paint and adding more paint. And then I finally, like after using an entire quart of paint... You broke down? I No. Then I, it covered it. And then I put the sealer on it and it pulled it. And so then I threw my paintbrush down and I told Bobby to fix it. <laughs> he did it. Well, I didn't, I didn't know for the longest time that liquid sealers bring out the bleed yeah. more than wax. So if you just yeah. will wax the white pieces, I know. I it's didn't better. know that either. I just I found that out that day, and that sucked. But Bobby, yeah, Bobby sanded it down and painted it over. But I cried and didn't ever want to look at it. Again. That makes me fix all my own stuff. I need a Bobby. Is he for hire? Well, he I do not make you fix your own stuff. When's the last time I screwed something up paint-wise and you repainted it for me? Uh, well, with paint, yes. 
I now, fix all, I, I fix all the thing, but paint mistakes, I, I If I break stuff, that fixes it. The other day we picked up a really pretty buffet and Harrington was kind of chucking it around. I'm like, if you break that, your dad's going to be so mad because he's going to have to fix that leg. The lady was just looking at me because it was her grandfather's buffet. And she told me, she said, oh, when you refinish that wood, it's going to look so uh, beautiful. Yeah, and you're like, mm -hmm. oops, yes. I didn't say that I was going to paint it. I didn't want to. I didn't want to hurt feelings. No. I had already paid for it, so it wasn't coming home with me. So a couple of questions. Are we going to paint the inside? And then someone wants to know how well this paint would work on stairs. Oh, once it's hardened, it would work great on stairs. Um, you would have to put like a sealer yeah. on it made for... So you use, um, well, uh, polyurethane <laughs> makes a floor sealer. We have a water-based floor sealer that we used over our stain on our floor. So all you need to do is use a water-based floor sealer over the top of the DIY paint. Make sure you wait at least two hours for that DIY paint to dry, and it would be perfectly all right for the floor. Make sure you're putting at least two to three coats on there, and also remember that it's going to take 30 days to cure completely, so be careful. Tiptoe through the I know a lot of people have painted bathroom floors and yeah and well, Beth, well. Beth painted the floor of her shop so it can be done I've never done it but yeah it can definitely be done we're not repainting the inside because we love the way it looks I will clean it but there's the that's pretty much the finished look we're waiting on it to dry yeah, it's not quite as bright because of that halo that's back there it kind of shows yeah. than it is. you need to take a good picture move the, and move the halo light. away so they can see the depth and then just post a good yeah we'll post a good picture shot. on community that's better can you guys see it better so pretty. Yeah, it turned out really good. I love it. I love it too. I think you should leave it here with me. <laughs> oh. No. Well, where are you going to put it? Nowhere. You I can't know. have it in your house because you have to DIY everything for your channel. I know. A house DIY one project at a time <laughs> or whatever you no. say. What do you say? One house repurposed week by week when it's really like every one three five. weeks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys go to Debbie's um, Design Diary and be sure to subscribe to her. Make sure yeah. you hit that notifications button and give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. We can hang and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. Yeah. And we're going to go live tomorrow on Debbie's channel. Yeah, I've committed to making more videos. I'm going to do like a house tour. I'm going to do some some vlog style videos. Just People want to know what you do. I'm going to throw up some stuff that you've never seen before and hopefully you'll like it. <laughs> I love right. it. All your stuff's awesome. Debbie, raw and unfiltered. Bye, guys. Oh, there's your finger. There's my finger.